Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are going to deal with our mission arriving at Mars and also potentially launch crew into orbit. Uh, but first I have made some adjustments to RP2000 I, by request actually from a comment. Uh, the comment was that the power necessary to do Outer Planets missions uh, was not arriving in the tech tree quickly enough. And so I've made a few adjustments, including adding a new part that we packaged with RP2000. It was one of my parts that I don't think is included in any other mod, though I released it on its own in the comments to a YouTube video. And that part is the Topaz reactor. There's two variants here. There's a Topaz 2 here, and then the mini Topaz here. Uh, these were Soviet reactors. Well, I mean, actually there was only the Topaz that was a Soviet reactor. I uh, made the mini topaz for our purposes, so I need to change the description. It only provides 1.2, uh, 1.25 kilowatts. And uh, so, yeah, but that's a fair amount of power. It's meant more for a crude mission than for uh, something else. And it, I think it only has uranium for five years. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but the five uh, kilowatt one is the topaz two reactor. This was the real, real one and uh, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the U.S. actually tried to purchase this one. So these were real things. It has built-in radiators and everything. And uh, yeah, those are options, but they're very expensive and they not, are not RTGs. They're not great for little probes. They have way too much power for that. I've moved up the multi-hundred watt RTG. Uh, to be special electrics instead of experimental electrics. But I really wanted to move the multi-mission RTG. And that's because it has less power. Uh, it's higher technology than the reactors because reactors are uranium. And these are plutonium, which is harder to get for a private space company, obviously. Plutonium, I, I don't even think you can get plutonium as a private space company. Uh, but maybe, I don't know. Anyway, but... Let's say you could, uh, I would want that one lower, but I can't actually find the name of the part. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, this, this part gets created, uh, it's not uh, modified. It, it must be Aro that does it, but I don't see where it does it. I see where it does this one, but I don't see where it does that one. I would rather have that one lower. But anyway, I'll try and make smaller RTGs as well. Uh, to put down here so they're more accessible. But I do figure that you have to get at least one R&D building upgrade before you start working with nuclear stuff. So that will continue to be the case. Uh, so that hopefully will help the outer planet stuff but not exactly solve the problem. Uh, we'll see. I'll have to play through it and figure out all details. This playthrough of RP2000 is so that I know what to adjust, and of course I've been making adjustments for my own purposes, and I'll continue to make adjustments uh, for everybody else's purposes as well. Uh, so the Topaz reactor will be added to RP2000 version 0.1.5, and uh, so will the adjustment to the RTG's position in the tech tree. Uh, that's just the multi-100 watt one. So, okay, all that being said, let's turn to our Mars mission. I'm a little bit worried. Um, okay, I'm a lot worried now. Uh, our mission doesn't show a line back, and Earth is over there. I didn't expect Earth to be that far away when it was arrived when this was arriving at Mars. I don't think it's going to have comms. Oh dear. Well, well, see, we need we need better comm stuff. We also need better comm dishes, so I'll have to feel that out. Okay, vessel recovery. We will be wanting to refit that pod. I should... Maybe I should refit that pod and get it being built for the crew. Instead of waiting the 23 days here. Yeah, it doesn't look good for Odyssey Mars 1. I think... I think it's more of our more our dishes. By this point, the tracking station, even with I mean, the bands that the tracking station provide, should be enough because Voyager went out in 1979. So, yeah, it shouldn't be the tracking station that's limiting us. Make sure it's on the right node. Okay. 
I think it's okay. I think real antenna might not be the best thing to use with, uh, with this RP2000 anyway. After all, this was supposed to be simple, and real antenna is not that simple. But we do have these antennae coming up. That might be better than our current dish. So currently we're using the Interplanetary Com Dish Alpha, which, um, let's say X-Band, which we normally use, gets 40.7 decibel eyes. This gets <clears throat> less. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Oh, one thing I wanted to do was adjust the value of first crude orbital, didn't I? This seems a little bit ludicrous, especially with the failure rate being as bad as it is. So, okay, let me actually do that and then restart, because, yeah, that needs to be done. Human Orbital is also one... This one, why do I get Human Orbital to the moon, but not... It should be Human Orbital not to the moon. Well, first orbit crude has to be completed, though. See, it's a nice little install. Okay, now what is it? I mean, I guess we would be doing that, but boy, is it not worth that while a uh, while there. Okay, so 300, 150, and then negative two million. Okay. <laughs> I just doubled it, basically. Now, if you're not playing hard mode, then it'd be better than that. It'd be like 400,000, 200,000, but... Okay, well, while that's building, we'll go back to checking on the Mars mission that's probably doomed. Yeah, this one, this one is not communicating with us anymore. Okay, well, we will fly by Mars, but we didn't have any... That's not the contract, and... We don't have comms anyway. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Charge-wise, this wasn't too good either. Okay, well, we're going to have to schedule the next transfer window. And while we're at it, let's see about further places, like... We can't even do Mars, and I'm trying to find for further places. Okay. Well, we, we don't even have a Jupiter option because we have to do the Mars one first. Mercury. Well, Mercury happens a lot, but it's hard. But, but, it does solve one of the problems we have, and that's not having powerful enough solar panels for the outer planets. The inner planets don't have that problem. So, yeah, but it needs a lot of Delta V. When's the, when's the next Mercury window? Right now? <laughs> um, total, 15,000. But that's with insertion. No insertion burn. 5,614, it says. But it's lying. <laughs> uh, that's already passed. Um, let's say... Give me at least 40 days. Or 30 days, how about that? We'll go for that one, then. Okay, well, let's try that. But, let's see, this antenna... Well, let's take level 4. We've got a lot of... See, that's, that's a lot of power consumption. But, we only have to do Mercury. So, antenna planning... Mercury. And then that's 83 watts. What we need is extending solar panels and not these. Well, even one face like this should be enough to power it. Especially around Mercury. But it says here tick level 1. It changes this little thing here when I change this tick level. That's zero, that's one, but this is still one up here. Hmm. Well, something I've got configured is wrong. 
Okay, okay, okay. Alright, well, let's try and get to the bottom of that, I guess. We have no choice. Oh, uh, let's make sure to send this back to X-Band. We should have, like, boosters or something. Maybe just more engines, but... Let's have three. And a bigger core. And 180 tons will be just about Titan-ish. Uh, is that it's not really giving me more Delta V? <laughs> um, this stage is getting a little bit hurt by the very heavy next stage. But we learned the hard way that. Relying on just one engine here could be a bad thing. Okay, so we've got two of the SE2020s there. And we've got 20, three 2100s down there, but we might want to reduce that a little bit. So that we can positively get off the ground. Why is it it's still not like any more delta V? <laughs> the the thrust weight ratio on the second stage makes me feel better, but it's not more delta V. Okay, let me save this for now, build one, and let's see about those dishes and comms with real antenna. These are part of RP two thousand, these are the patches. Okay, well, fine. I'll I'll revert this chunk in the realism overhaul and let's see what happens there. So I'll just get the original stuff. Okay, and then we want to change the tech tree, so let's just have Everything be engineering 101. We'll have electrics and... Let me copy that one. Precision engineering can be up here. And we'll have electrics here. And then we'll just have engineering 101 for the rest of it. I don't know if that'll be good or not. I mean, none of this was meant to be conducive to starting in the year 2000, so... Now this is the, so this is the realism overhaul one, and then there's this real antenna comnet parameters. I guess we'll just have that match, or something. Okay, well here goes nothing. Okay, well what kind of chaos do we have now? Well we theoretically own all the tech levels up to tech level seven now. Let's see what our dishes do now. Okay, well, it says we have tech level 8 here. Let's see, antenna planning. Tech level 4 there. Okay. Okay, well... I feel like this makes it too manageable. <laughs> Now, now it's 16 decibel, mil, decibel milliwatts there. We don't have K-band though. K-band is not a thing. Still. But I still, I guess t uh, tech level 4 is for Madrid. I don't know why it's tech level 4 though. I mean, it's because I had, uh, you won't get all these levels at the start. It's because I unlocked electrics already. Jupiter. Well, at least it doesn't have any connection to Jupiter like this. 23 though. 18 watts. Hmm. Dish OP? Okay. But I don't know I don't know what to set it to. That gain wasn't calculated by me. I didn't write in the gain for the dish. 
<laughs> I I didn't I didn't write that. Um, let me see where that is. So Pekka is saying that my my poor little interplanetary calm dish is too powerful. So that's under the small rocket spec. Hold on, hold on, let's... Okay. Now, what's the part name on it? I added uh, KOS here, not because I plan to use KOS, but so that... Um, it can show me the show name tag, so I remember what the part name is. Okay, uh, dish one. Okay, so all I have, as far as a parameter on it, uh, is that antenna diameter 1.5. Should I set it to 1? But I don't know if that changes the DBI though. Well, let me get that change in and see what it does. So does it say, what does it say here? Well, X is 35.9, it says here, now. So if I'm Mars, how little do we need for Mars? But it's only 19. I don't know, real antenna has the rules. Even Tech Level 4 is okay for Mars now. Not with 40, but... I think our tracking stations are really good then, maybe, suddenly. So we're back to the tracking stations being modern makes it too easy. <laughs> I think I think we're at, yeah, I think basically once you have modern DSN, it's easier. So okay, well. Those being the parameters, let's adjust our Mercury mission. I guess we'll go with this. I don't think changing the dish diameter from 1.5 to 1 did a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> but uh, maybe just narrowed the beam width even more to like practically nothing. I mean, of course, we might want some kilobits. I mean, there's so little difference between the power consumption down here and just that 30, that we might as well go just for 30 and get the transmission rate. So, those improvements, or... practically cheats, uh, will, uh, will be in RP2000 version 0.1.5. So we've reworked the way real antennas deals with the tech levels. Going back on some things, but maintaining the tracking station. And then giving people, instead of having people unlock the technology gradually, you're basically getting the whole chunk in Engineering 101. And then uh, in Electrics, wherever the heck that ended up, you get Comtech level 8 and then somewhere around... Oh, there it is. Comtech level 9. Well, that Mercury probe will be done on time or not? Not. But still, this mission is a priority. Maybe we'll just rush it in the second... Or maybe I should add upgrade points to the second slot. Okay, 100 days. I guess we're launching... I was wanting to do the crude mission, but the first thing we're going to do is launch a Mercury mission. Now, didn't this... Didn't... Transfer Window Planner... Give us a longitude of ascending node before? A ejection longitude of ascending node? It doesn't right now. 
Okay, rolling out the Mercury mission. 